Hello and welcome back to another video where today we will be playing some Roblox Beast Home Simulator. In this video, we will be completing Panda Bear's Royal Rumble quest. Let's get straight into it. Okay. Panda Bear's quest is here. So the quest was defeat 100 fire ants, defeat 30 giant ants, defeat one king beetle, get a score of 75 in the ant pass challenge. Okay, Panda Bear, don't know what you're going to give me. Hopefully you're something good. You gave that king beetle a royal wrecking, and you've kept the ants at bay for now. So I'm willing to give you this Mastar Egg. Hatch it and you'll always obtain a gifted bee you don't already have. After that, go check out the Star Hall above Moo Bear Shop. For every gifted bee type you have, you can claim one royal jelly every day. And once you've obtained enough different gifted bee types, you can also generate star amulets. But don't take too long, we aren't finished yet. A star egg. That is fascinating. Star egg. Looks good, eh? That's very good for me. I can now get 10 gifted B types, which allows me to get a silver star amulet. I'm going to use that at the end of the video. Okay, Panda Bear, what's the next quest? Are you ready for your biggest challenge? Think you're tough enough to take out those ants once and for all? If you can, I've got something even more better than a star egg to give you. Star treat. Ooh. Feed one to a bee, and it will immediately become gifted. This lets you choose whichever gifted hive bonus you want. And it's o the only way to obtain gifted event bees. If you want this star treat, here's what you'll need to do. It's got to be a very hard quest, you can tell. You have to take okay, that ant hill once and for all, and bonk up the mountain. Oh, we've got five quests. Oh, come on. 250 ants, 10 spiders, five werewolves. That is actually not as hard as I thought. I'm not sure. If, I think ants just comes under those normal ants. Let's go ahead and get our first spider. Then let's go get our werewolf. Ooh. Token link, token link, I need you please. Token link, yes, token link. Okay, now let's get our werewolf. Spider had some good rewards for me. Let's get the werewolf. Okay, let's see. Now we have to also do some ants. Let's try and get another quest done. Okay, scorpion salad head. Yeah, what do we need? Right, let's go and use a field booster, see if we can get one of these fields. If we can, that will be great. If we can't, then just go on to one of the other fields. So I need strawberry field, do we need strawberry field here? So basically rose and, or pine tree field, one of the two, let's go and see, red field booster, rose field please, strawberry field booster the sixth time in a row, I'm very happy about that, well I need to get some goose, so let's go, strawberry field, always give me strawberry field red booster, can't be trusted anymore. Only give me strawberry food. Been asking for rose food, never get it. Only strawberry. Okay. Continue getting some strawberry food pollen. 
Sorry about that. My computer just sh shut down. So let's continue. I can't believe my computer just died while I was in the middle of recording. Okay. So I've had to move because my computer's gone flat. So now it's going to be on charge and it's going to have to be on low battery mode. So it's not going to be. Hopefully it still gets good. Hopefully this video is still good. So after I finish this ba bag of honey, I think that's what. Uh, that's probably what you say. Bag of honey, pollen container. When I fill it up, I'm gonna go empty it at the hive. And then while I'm doing that, I'm gonna go use my glorious star egg that I got before I was rudely interrupted by my computer from getting flat. Sprinklers. Here we go, I'm collecting a lot of pollen. Here we go. Go and use one, then we're gonna go and hunt down some bean bugs after I am doing this. That. Also, I realized something a smart way to get a good score in the ant pass is by using jelly beans. But the thing is, if you're standing in the ant field and you use the jelly bean item that you get, then the jelly beans just disappear. They don't come. They, it doesn't work. It wastes the jelly bean. Look here, I had 50, then I used one inside the ant pass and it just disappeared and didn't give me any jelly beans. So what a good idea is, maybe find a lot of bean bugs in the one field, collect a ton of jelly beans until you have three times on the white pollen, the red pollen, the blue pollen, the instant conversion, critical chance, all that stuff. Then go into the ant pass, and if you go into the ant pass, it gives you the, it, you still have the buffs, but it gives you the buffs for like the first 30 seconds of the ant pass. So you still get the buffs in, but that's because you already got them outside of the ant pass. Let's go here and get a strawberry dispenser. That's a pretty good way to do it. What I did is I had like one, t I got one like 1.5 times red pollen because I got one white jelly bean and I got one red jelly bean and one blue jelly bean. So I had 1.25 for each red and blue and 1.5 for white. And I went in with the ant pass with just those three and then got my new high score. So it was pretty good. I bet my old high score by more than 10 just with the 1.5 times white pollen and the 1.25 times red pollen and blue pollen. So if you can get three times of everything, or if I, it will definitely get you like a new high score. And if I get three times of all the jelly beans, I can hopefully finally get over 100. Because my high score was 80, and then now it's 92. Because I had those, I had the little jelly beans. So, maybe try, try and get a ton of jelly beans and go on the ant pass. It's sure to give you a good score if you if you just constant if you're constantly collecting pollen. But when they wear off, it's just back to normal. 
strawberry, strawberry, lots of strawberries coming out of the field. And this another person has joined us in the field. You don't have any sprinklers? No, that's not very helpful. Gonna stand in the one spot, okay. This person's being strange, just standing in the one spot, just tapping. Like he's trying to multitask, like he's trying to play Beast Woman and trying to do something else. So he's just tapping the screen and then doing something else with his other hand. Maybe. There we go, moving again. That's good. Sprout is up here. Oh, look at that. All those bean bugs. All those bean bugs in the bamboo field. Like, go, go over there quickly, get some buffs, and go back. Might need to use a few micro converters. Where are they? Come on. Instant version. Blue, blue, white. Need some red ones. Red, blue. Oh no, you go in. No, don't go. Okay. One red, one slate, which is two times white pole, and instantly version three times white, three times blue. So now we're getting more way more white pole, red pole. Even though it's a red field. Yeah. Backpack is getting pretty full. Whoa, 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 whoa. Vote on me. Gotta calm down. Here we go. Alright. Oh. Not gonna use a micro converter. Okay, it's the lucky time to use our star egg. The one and only star egg. Precious, precious, precious. The episode was about completing Panda Bear's quest. I knew it would give me something good. I was kind of thinking it was his star treat. Or it was something like, very, like a very rare item. And a star egg turned out. So that's good. So let's go. Oh, my uh, strawberry field. Where are I'm going to use it on that hasty bee. It doesn't really fit in there. Ooh. Star egg. Star egg. Star egg. Yes. If the, if the star egg gives me glitches and gives me another gifted rad bee, I'm not having four gifted rad bees in my hive. So I have one there under the cool bee and above the stubborn bee. Then I have one under the haste bee and above the shy bee. Then I have another one right at the top above the carpenter bee and under the lion bee. So I've got a bit too many gifted red bees with star egg, star egg, star egg. Hasty bee. Please give me a legendary or a good one. I'm hoping maybe for a... or anything. Gifted Lion Bee. That is so good. Gifted Lion Bee. Oh, that was one of the legendaries I was hoping for. Oh, I am so happy. Okay, Gifted Lion Bee. Let's see here. What does he do? Gifted Lion Bee. Gifted I have four Lion Bees now. Eight attack, six heal. This Lion Bee is good. Gifted a power, two colorless bee attack. Oh, that makes all oh, my bees so much stronger. Might be able to defeat Tunnel Bear now. His abilities: two hundred percent energy, forty percent movement speed, fifty percent conversion conversion speed, eighty plus conversion amount, 
10 plus gather amount, 7 plus attack. So this align me is very good, plus the extra 2 colors we attack. That makes that means the minimum attack for my bees, for my red bees is free. For my white co colorless bees, it's free. And for my blue bees, it's one, maybe two, hopefully. Because I don't have any bad blue bees besides Corsa. I only have, don't have any commons, which is that cool bee. Cool bee's my only common blue bee. And how much attack does he do? Cool bee, two attack. So that means the minimum attack my blue bees is two. Because then I know, like, all the little bubble bee got three. Here we go, we got Diamond Bee, got oh, Diamond Bee's got one. Okay, so then the minimum is one. And he's got Ninja Bee's got three. So that's really good. Gifted Lion Bee. I'm just very amazed about the Gifted Bee I got. Well, this is where I'm going to end the video. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time.